it's not even just the tax, like the write-offs that come with his company when he keeps more of that money in his corporation like he is. He's only getting taxed at 12% versus if he actually shows 160, he's getting taxed at a much higher tax rate. Well, he sure he is. Even yeah. more money saved for Joe. That is so, you know, I've never really seen it postulated like that before. I really like that because it is, it's, it's, it's spot on. Yeah, you're going to spend, if you match up an A lender to a B lender head to head, yeah, you're paying more for the A lender. But for the self-employed individual to get that A uh that A uh lender mortgage, it's going to cost them more money to get there than what they save on taxes. Absolutely. And people just don't break that down. It's just the biggest misconception that, you know, it's going to cost you a lot more, but really, if you look at your numbers, it's saving you a lot of money. Let's face it, 61,000, that could buy somebody a rental property somewhere in Windsor, because that's 20% down that they would need. So not only are they able to now buy their first property, they could also save that 61,000 in Joe's scenario and buy an yeah. investment. Earlier in the slide, you were talking about some of the other potential types of people, like uh, people going through bankruptcy and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. well, why, why does it pertain to them as well, if you don't mind me asking? That was just my example of what we would normally use be lending for. And then the very last one was self-employed, which is the one that I'm focusing on. But be lending when it comes to anyone that has bad credit, they'll look at different scenarios and they're, because they are charging that fee and having that slightly higher rate, their risk appetite is a little bit on the higher side. So uh, it, that makes sense. That's much money, but that was just examples of other people who look at be lending which is where I think B lending unfortunately got their bad name from because everybody looks at my top three examples, not my very last one that actually saves you the money for self-employed. Well, that's it. You're right.